the tomato industry in, in, in Texas has, has declined somewhat due to a lot of factors, not the least of which is diseases that plague the tomatoes, particularly virus diseases and white flies that bring the, uh, the viruses. They can infect the plant when it's just a, a three or four weeks old. And they can infect the plant throughout the cycle. And because there's so many white flies down there in that subtropical region, you, you really can never completely eliminate white flies. You can't do it. There's many of those viruses that are a, a complex. And some of the Mexican strains, I think, were always in the valley, but weren't nearly as easily spread by the white fly as this new strain that came in from, uh, actually, originally from the Middle East. And then it went to Florida, and then it went to Mexico, and then it came to us. But it, it's, it spreads like wildfire. I've seen 50-acre uh, fields just bulldozed because they couldn't get a single tomato out of them. There's a long history of tomato production in South Texas and also breeding with Dr. Paul Leeper, who worked for about 50 years at the Westaco Experiment Station and did a lot of the early work on tomatoes for hot climates and heat-resistant tomatoes and processing tomatoes. And as a result, he built a lot of very good varieties for the industry there and, uh, and elsewhere. We were fortunate to have colleagues in Taiwan and Florida that had worked on these viruses for a, a substantial amount of time and had identified some new resistance genes. And they sent me material that had those genes. And we were able to cross those lines with our Westaco lines and generate material that was adapted to Westaco and then that had good processing qualities and had these resistance genes. So we're now developing uh, these processing tomatoes and also fresh market tomatoes with the virus resistance and it's actually a, a perfect place to do it because there's always the white fly and the virus disease there and we're able to also develop adapted varieties for heat tolerance and other attributes that are important in South Texas. Well the, the, the white fly had been a problem down here for several years and then all of a sudden we noticed that the uh, tomato plants were dying before they reached maturity and we just blamed it on the white fly and then we found out that it really had to do with a virus that the white fly carried and we asked uh, A&M uh, about the possibility of deve developing an open pollinated virus resistant variety and they've come up with uh, two varieties one of which we like which is a T5 and uh, it is uh, highly productive uh, it uh, has good flavor, it has uh, good color, and it is virus resistant. And they were happy now to be able to grow them there in the valley and source them locally and have a better control over the quality.